Okay, now today I'm going to show you some stamping on tissue paper. This is tissue This is tissue paper. This is Tim Holtz um, paper on a roll. So it's like tissue paper. It's really, that is not mine. It's Scott's birthday and he's eating chocolate. So the stamp pads I'm using are stays on because they're awesome for uh, you know they're awesome for stamping on here. So as you can see, I've got multitude. I love the wooden stamps, the old wooden stamps, because I have a lot of problems with my arm since I had all my nose out with breast cancer, and they're not as fickle as these things. These you got to pull them. So I, I like the wooden stamps because you can get them down easy. So we can do. Just as a background stamp, I'll use these. So I'll just go along lightly, just randomly. Doesn't matter whether it's upside down. It doesn't matter whether all comes out, whether bits come out, whether it's it's just your preference. There's no right. There's no wrong in how you do it. Yes, I always wipe my stamps on my t-shirt. I don't know why. I have paper towel here. Now this is what I'm saying. These are oh, that one's easy, but they they're just so hard to get off the plastic. This is a Heidi swap, and it comes as a whole, but I've cut it in half because I can't handle the um, the whole sheet at once. So I'm just changing ink. Just dab it up. That's right. Just stamp all those on your board. It's new too. I'll find it easy just to run it along. Stamp it up. If you want to just do the end bits, just do the end bits. Um, it's not that, not that hard to do the end bits. Right, yep, that's least of my favourites. Oh. Okay, now maybe if I put that underneath, that might stay. Or get my grip mat. This here, Scott bought me in, um, I think we call it shiploads here, or shitloads, shiploads, cheapest chips, whatever you want. So if I put that down and then there, we'll try that. That might keep me paper, but I don't think so. I don't know. Okay, let's get into this. So, do some more. Always take the stamp. Just place it around wherever you think that you might like it. Um, here's another background one. I'm going to this one. Oh, that's pretty. very easy you just there's no rights and wrongs with craft you just pick which ones you want and just do it this little splotch I love this little dude yeah. these are stampotics I bought a whole load of them in from America um, and they are awesome. This is another one. This is a Daniel Torrente. Um, he is one of the makers for Stampotic. As you can see, it's very well used. And I'll just go in. Okay, now to me, I'll just give it a waffle. With a be very careful because you can set it on fire. Been there and done that. So. <laughs> right, see that's all proof now. And there's your first piece of stamp tissue paper. So you can tear it, rip it, um, 
it's just like this one I've made which I've used on everything they're all different colors that was a more crunkled up tissue paper but I just wanted to see what this um, Tim Holtz one's like so what I can do now as well if I wanted to do something I could put that down straight over there and mod, mod podge it on so that would be the start of one of my journal cards you can also fold it in half like that and use it in I haven't got one here to show you in one of your junk journals so say that was your junk journal page then you could sew it into your journal staple it into your journal use it as a page the plastic whatever one so you just put them on you don't even have to go on the paper you can kind of go half on oh half off you don't have to keep loading your stamp up you can make it dark you can make it light just fairly there fairly not there um, get one of my Tim Holtz script stamp and I'm putting the lids on this time so we'll load that up doesn't matter which way you put it it's just a script stamp like I said, you can just do a little bit in the corner so it looks like it's just hanging off the side. You can keep, keep go over the top of the other one. See, just another one. It's up, it's up to you what kind you want to do. These are my new ones now. I got these from Arnie Vera's Scrap and Craft. She has a Facebook page and a website and an eBay. These are what they call washi. The washi tape stamps. They'll give this a bell, see. Oh. oh, that's very fine, isn't it? Okay, so we've got to push down. So that's one. Oh, like I said, I like wooden before I like plastic. But you've got to make your backgrounds because you could just start doing uh, stamping in the middle. But. Mm. But I think it, it would be more, you need to get your back self a background up. See now how it's coming together? It doesn't matter if you go over the top of the other ones. So now I might bring a bit of a green in here. How about we do some green cogs in the middle of the flowers? <laughs> Is that a key? Yeah, that's a key. Are you trying to be smart? It's my birthday, I'm allowed to be. <laughs> okay, there we have another piece. I'll give it a waffle, hang on. Just to make sure. So, the thing is you can sit here for hours. That's dry. You can sit here for hours and make these and it takes you 10 seconds to use them all because they're popular and you like I said once again you put them in cards but here's another ooh, 
Lord. Here's another vent. Oh, now I've got to think all over. There's another thing. See, you can put straight onto the background of a journaling card. Um, to make, I'm just trying to think. You can put it on there. I've done some coffee stained um, art paper, which I've made. So I can put it on the front of there. Mod podge it down or mod podge it down and make a file folder could open it up we could put it inside there or we could just be friendly in a swap or a rack or a flow journal fold it up put it on there and send it for someone else to use clip it in journal so there's a there's hundred different ways to it so um, I just keep making it and keep using it but like I said it make, takes longer to make and quicker to use now here's another one this is a bit uneven but that doesn't matter so we can go around and do the same thing right this this is coffee stained so we're making a background the stamps work fine is that green so the stamps work fine on that one. So now we'll come in with a with an orange. Not that you can see that very well, but now if we want a bit of script. Like I said, you don't have to do a full stamp. You could just do a little bit of stamp. One stamp can last a fair bit. So that's what we're looking like at the moment. It looks very random. Yeah, so you've got a, a background. And then you can start. Oh, how about we do this one? With making a focal image. Oh, oh. This map's not going to last long. <laughs> so now we have a focal image of this little dude. I don't know. This is a paper bag studio stamp. So he's on the image. So now then what we can do to that is... We can bring in another, if I can find, these are Diane Reevely, these are quite, no oh, they're actually not Diane Reevely I don't think, I think they're Dina Wakely, these are Dina Wakely, so we can bring her in the focal image in the front. So that looks awesome. I love stamping, but it's got to have a purpose. Love random stamping. Any stamping is good. Get yourself some nice stamps that you will use and use again. Um, now the next thing you can do with that is what I did the other day on another video is now I can bring in my Tim Holtz my Tim Holtz crayons and start going around if you like you don't have to there's no hard and fast rule oops god I'm not very straight am I but whatever craft is craft doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have to be anything it's what you make it now I always like to smudge these I usually use my finger but then I end up wiping my eye and then all bad things happen it would help if I 
I'll grab the wrong right end. So I just put a little bit of colour in her dress to make her stand out. How about we put a little bit of just a bit of colour in the boys or the angels. Just random so they stick out. There. So that's what you can do with stamping and inking. Um, you can put words. I don't, even, I don't even think I have any words. You can put words on there, or you could you could start this off as a journal cover. You can put the journal card inside, covered by your stamping paper. Cover it up, make a journal card. You could put them in there for somebody to write on. Of course, you'd have to trim it all up. Um, you could write in it. Write a letter to your pen pal in it. Write a letter to anybody in it. It's the same. It's stamped. It's inked. It's beautiful. Make a card out of it. Happy birthday. But that's it. I always just go over everything and give it a final wipe and give it a bit of a waz with the heat gun just to make sure that it's all dry so that when people pick it up they don't get it all over their fingers or up their arms but yeah so that's it so any questions just um, ask in the link below um, and I can do my best to answer them have a great day bye